Pharisees, what God did for you. Hey, hey, blind man, go stand up and go into the temple. Go tell them how. What God did for you. This is what I want you to tell them. God loves them. He loves you. He hears every word we say. Good or bad, it doesn't matter. That's the thing. I, I get mad. I get sad. I get happy. I, I have emotions. I have feelings. God says, hey, I want you guys to know I have emotions and feelings. Jesus became one of us to show us exactly what God feels, what he sees, what he knows. You know, that's the thing. Can we, like a, a brother or sister, if you were married or had a sibling, you know, from birth, maybe you're a twin, identical twin. I bet you your identical twin one day, maybe 20 times, is going to tell you, I hate you. I'm angry with you. But I bet you, you still love them. And a week or two, you cool off. You cool off. And I still love you. See, they ain't that what God, they ain't that what God say? Even though you didn't love me, I didn't call you to be my people because you loved me. I called you to be my people because I, God, loved you. I loved you. I, God, the creator of all the universe, chose you. He hated me, the world, and all that's in it. If you delight in what God delights in, creation, the creation of life, finer than gold, silver, and all things, life. And in life, there's no thing more finer than love. Greatest gift of all is love. That's why there's nothing more finer than love. Because God is love. He loves us so much. He said, tree, I want you to grow. And I don't want you to just grow. I want you to grow medicine for my daughter, whom I love so much. Plants, I want you to grow, and I don't want you to grow. I want you to grow medicine for my son, whom I love so much. Fruit, I want you to produce energy for my sons and daughters, whom I love so much. I know. There comes a point in our life when we say, Man, Lord, God, I hate everything I see in my life and everything about it. He says, Why? I made it out of love for you. He says, How about I make all things new? For you. How about I start all over and there'll be a place where there's no death, no pain or suffering. A, a place with me, God. And then he says, well, there's no other place I wish to dwell than with you in, in your heart. And that's the Holy Spirit. Now, I've been baptized by fire. I was once all upset that God was going to destroy everything. And then I found out, no, he's, he's not going to destroy everything. Because he didn't choose me. Because I could stop sinning. He chose me because he loved me. He, he loved me.
Right? It's when the threat of everything you love is going to be taken away. A, a fire grows in your heart. You ain't going to take that for me. No way are you going to take that for me. Whatever it is. The salvation of God is free gift. Here they brought that woman out, the, the prostitute, throw her down. Take away God's free gift from her. She's sinning. Take it away from her. God's free gift. God's salvation. And you know what they found out? The power and the word of God is far greater than that of men who live in this world. That's what they found out. She found a savior, even when she wasn't seeking one. It says, I called to a people who did not seek me. So I could display the glory of my love for that which was lost. Lost. Day of Noah. And all the world is covered in water. That which was lost. God covered the sin in water. John the Baptist says, if you come to the water, and be dumped and come back. You were dead and come back to life. What was lost in the water? Everything. But eight people. Right? But, but didn't God save everything he created through those eight people? Everything. The creepy crawlies, the, the worms, the flies. The animals, he saved them all. And then he blessed them. And then he blessed them. Right? That's what God did. He wanted you to tell people what God did. He saved them all. And then he blessed them. What about that which was lost in the water? Yeah, that's what Jesus Christ came for. That which was lost. Who? The world was lost. And he came for the world. And then he came and he says, I'm going to give you a peace for your heart. You don't have to save the world. I did. And if you want peace in your heart, believe Jesus Christ is the Savior of the world. Savior of the world. That's what we're going to preach the good news. Hey, did you know God, the holiest creation of all things, cannot live in anything unholy? He is a righteous being. But He lives in you. He lives in you. The creation He made to be in His image. Make man to, to be his image. We say, yeah, as soon as they stop sinning, they will be in the image of God. <laughs> when are you going to believe God? Right? His image. You know, we are all one in body. We're all one in sin. And we are all one in spirit. You ever notice, you know, somebody comes like that lion, you know, he comes, the roaring lion of Judah comes and to accuse you of your sin. What happens? What happens? 
Boy, we the fire grows in my heart. You accuse me of not being God's child? Let me grab you by the neck, you worthy you son of a... <laughs> right? Isn't that what happens? And where does that fire come from? Our defender, Jesus Christ. Our defense, Jesus Christ. Right? Didn't he defend the woman? I'm not going to. Where'd all your accusers go? Where'd all the lions go? Where'd they go? Right? Where'd the power of Satan go? That's what Jesus proved. Devil's a liar. <laughs> Devil's a liar. And every word that comes from his mouth is a liar. Paul says, wow, then let all men be liars. So God can save all men. So God can say, if we're going to brag about something, let's brag about Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I ain't going to brag about my sin. I ain't going to brag about this, the destruction of human life. I ain't going to brag about what I see. I'm going to brag about Jesus Christ. And what's to come? What's to come? What's to come? What's to come with Jesus Christ? Salvation. Salvation. At the end of the law, when you quit living by the law, the harder you try to be holy in a body that God has deemed unholy, the more unholy you're going to be. The more unholy you're going to be. So you got to agree. We're all one in sin. And the only thing holy in me is my mind. It's my mind that tells me every day I am redeemed. I am saved. I am His. I am the one and only Son of God because we are all one in body. Dead, He died for His death and He rose. For the living, one in body, one in spirit. And when we believe that, when a hundred million Muslims come knocking on your door, you're going to welcome them right on in. Because we're going to love you just as we would ourselves. Thank you for recognizing we are the children of God. And you... On your birthday, thank you, God, for choosing me to be that guiding light for their salvation. They know that we will not destroy them, and we know that you will not destroy us. Because we all see the Son of God living in you, living in us. See, that's the mystery. It's been hidden from the beginning of the world. That the love of men is God. That's why Jesus says, I got a simple command for you. Love each other. Love each other. Because the love of men is of God. That's God. Destruction of men is not of God. Not of God. You say, well, we got to warn him. Well, the world has been warned. They're knocking at our door. What are we going to do? Now that's where the manifestation of God's glory comes. Through the fire, we'll produce who we really are. Who we really are. See, the fire in the, in the world and what has produced, what, what are we going to produce but the glory of God? It is God's will that we love each other. That's God's will. This is what God said. I want you to love each other. Who? Well, you only got two kids. One's darkened and one's light. Okay, love each other. Cain and Abel, love each other. Ishmael and Isaac, love each other. All right, Jacob and, and Esau, love each other. The will of God is that we would love each other. Love each other. 
just as we would ourselves. And that's how Jesus says, hey, at the end times, this is how you will know for sure. I am God and you are my children and there's no worries for you. Right? Because the world will know you by your love. They will know you because they're not going to be afraid you destroy them. <laughs> That's why they're not running to Iran for help. That's why they're not running to Saudi Arabia for help. <coughs> That's why they're not running to these places who, who aren't going to help them. Oh, they're going to come to your house. You say, well, this is like a great uh, invasion. Well, how else are they going to experience the, the love? How else are they going to be, you know, experience that woman experienced when she was thrown on the ground and asked to be judged? Jesus says, don't judge anyone. I'm telling you, I'm a direct representation of God and he don't judge anyone. And this is why, don't judge. No judging anyone. Right? This is what I want you to do. Love each other. I want you to pray for your enemies and those who persecute you. I want you to care for your neighbor. And love each other. Because none of you can add a moment to your life. Because in Jesus Christ is eternal life. You can't add to that. You can't add to that. Okay? Just want to do that. peace in your heart. It's going to make new places. Do you want me to read that? I guess I could read it, but I read it the other day, and that's the thing. It's, you know. You see there in, in Isaiah 64, you know, Isaiah questions God, right? Will you restrain yourself at these things, O Lord? Will you keep silent and afflict us so terribly? You know, and afflict us with, with, with his wrath beyond our endurance, what one Bible says, you know. And God won't test us beyond our endurance, you know. <coughs> That's the thing for me. I, I, I got so much pride in, in Jesus Christ and being God's one and only son, you know. I, I don't have much patience. God didn't bless me with much patience. That's why I don't live in a third world country. Because <laughs> I'd be flipping angry mad be, be, because we're worth something. It's human life, it's human beings. We're so valuable, we're, we're more precious than anything. God even said, look at everything I show you guys. All of life and everything. And this is a demonstration of God's love for us. And then he says, let, let me even go one step further to show you my love for you. Everything you see, I'm going to trade that for you. <laughs> I'm going to sell it, give it away to the devil. I'm going to let him destroy it. But, but you, you will never be destroyed. You'll never be destroyed. That, that's a demonstration of, of, of love. I'll trade all creation to, to save you from being lost. You know, my, my, my friend, you know, she goes to the doctors in, in a third world country, or I don't know, I call it third world country, but that, that's a bad eye of me. That's a bad eye, like America, but God bless America, and we got all this stuff and all these blessings, but we have no love, we have no compassion for each other anymore. We want to know each other, we don't care who you are. Turn your life to Jesus. Right? That's what we want to tell all the Muslims that are coming in. Turn your life to Jesus. You should have turned your life to Jesus. Right? Ain't that what they said to the prostitute? Turn your life to Jesus. 
They had dragged him, dragged her right to his feet. Here they are, right at your feet. What are you going to do to them? Jesus says, it is so divine. If you could love a people that do not love you back. You know, my friend goes to the hospital or the doctor, and, and God bless her. She, she can sit there for four, five, six hours. Not just sit there. Not get upset, not get angry. This person, you know, lives in a wheelchair, pain, suffering of her life. And, and through that, she's just going to wait and sees a lady, you know, selling burritos or, or, or rice cakes or, or whatever it is they sell, snacks. And, and, and hey, let me sell those for you. Let me uh, be a servant of a servant. That, that's the glory and blessings of God. The, the patience, that's God. When, when you got full of patience that you can do that without being upset, screaming out, mad and angry, say, I couldn't do that. But you could. How, what a, the fullness of the abundance of God's glory living in those people and that person. Boy, you want to see faith, go talk to her. She, she'd knock you right down in the dirt and be like, you fall. Don't you know God? I know God. <laughs> yeah. She sell that stuff so she can have a, a glass of water. So she can get a glass of water. She's thirsty, sat there all day. Me, I'd be standing up after two hours, bitching, moaning, angry, yelling, making notice, hey man, we're, I'm worth something. But that's pride. And we gotta be aware of pride. Pride. Saying we're better than somebody else, that's like James. Just because